Hey everybody, I'm Greg with the Fix My Bleak channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So I've got the Jackery 1500 Explorer unit. So this is going to be a video on the setup and the three ways you can charge this unit. So let's get to the video. Well, the Jackery 1500 Explorer does have three recharging options. You can recharge off of solar. So two solar panels will take nine hours to recharge like I've got here. If you get the full four solar panels, that will drop your recharge time down to around four or four and a half hours to recharge this unit. If you choose to just plug it into a regular AC outlet like on a house, you can recharge this unit in three hours. The third option to recharge this unit is a car. You can plug it into a cigarette lighter and it will take 15.5 hours to recharge this unit. Okay, we have charging the Jackery off of regular house AC. So you just find your power brick, which is in your nifty little case that they send you. Get out your cord that goes with your power brick, pull off the little end. And this is by far the quickest way to charge this unit, but honestly, most of us are not buying this unit to charge it this way. But this is obviously one of the three ways you can charge this, this guy up. So we're gonna plug it into regular home AC. I've already got the Jackery unit on, the little displays on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. You just plug it into one of your ports here. Just pick a port, any port. It recognizes, gives you a symbol of a little AC plug right there. Uh, input, 263 watts, okay. So estimated charging time, 3.5 hours. It's 48% charged right now. Zero output, because I don't have anything plugged into it. And it gives you a little battery symbol. So that's one of your three ways to charge this unit up. Just regular good old AC. All right, so you can charge this Jackery unit off of your vehicle's um, cigarette lighter, your 12 volt input. And uh, so right here, you'll want to find your plug. So in the nifty little case that comes with the Jackery unit, you'll want to go and find your, uh, there it is, your plug right there for your vehicle. So grab that guy. And then find your cigarette lighter in your vehicle. Mine happens to be right in my console, very uh, conveniently or inconveniently located. So we're gonna plug that in right here. So anyway, there is that, that's plugged in. And then I just set the Jackery unit in the truck just for filming purposes. Okay, then you take your other end of your uh, 12 volt cable or your cigarette lighter adapter. You just literally plug it right into the front of your Jackery. Just pick a port, plug that guy in. Jackery acknowledges something just got plugged in and hey, look. Little battery light comes on, the Jackery says, hey, something is plugged in, and it does recognize it and it is charging. So, little input display right there 53 watt, 18 hours, 48% charged, and off it goes. And it has a little uh, vehicle charger symbol right there, a little 12 volt symbol. So, as far as this one goes, uh, I would start my vehicle once in a while and actually let it run so that you don't end up with a dead battery. Also, just so you know, the Jackery display, it has a sleep mode and so not to worry. If you just push a little button, it'll take it out of the little uh, sleep mode. It just, the display will go black after 30 seconds or so. That's your other way of charging this guy. Now this does take 13 and a half hours to charge if you choose to charge it off your vehicle. And that's why I suggest starting your vehicle once in a while so you don't find yourself with a dead vehicle battery, especially if you're camping. And as always, there's a link in the description where you can find this item. Be sure and check it out. All right, for solar recharging the Jackery 1500, here's what you do. Open up the little accessory kit that comes with the unit. I've got two of the solar panels that come with Jackery. Inside the kit, you'll find the solar adapters. There's two of them that come in this kit. You'll only need one if you have one or two solar panels. 
Open up one of the solar adapters. Plug it into the Jackery unit right here on the input. You'll notice it's got two ports on the back of it. This will work for one or two of them. If you've got four of the solar panels, you will need the other solar adapter and just plug it in right next to that one. On the back of the solar panel, go ahead and unzip the little pouch. Undo the cable that's inside the pouch. It's already got your adapter on there. Plug your adapter into this. You'll notice it recognizes it, but not yet charging because I haven't opened it up. Ahead and open up your kickstand. Open up your panel. There's kickstands on the back of these panels, so open these up. Set it out in the sun here. And you'll notice on the display, it says input. It's uh, the wattage is going up. It says 36 watt, 30 hour on the input, 44% charged. And so that panel seems to be working. And it just rinse and repeat for the second panel. Open up the little bag. Don't need the other adapter. We just need this cable. Again, plug it into the solar adapter on the Jackery. We're gonna open this guy up. The kick stands open. And just like that. All right, and now we're charging away, we're 112 watt and increasing and going. And so that's your solar charging setup. All right, currently plugged into the two solar panels. And this is what we're showing on the little display here. I don't know if you're able to see that. 116 watt, 88.6 hours, 46% charged zero output because nothing is plugged into it right now all right so i hope this video is really helpful be sure and like and subscribe to my channel watch for the review on this explorer 1500 and i'll catch you guys later